This tutorial covers how to begin an accuracy assessment of your classifications by extracting data from your classified rasters and comparing them to aerial imagery from Google Earth. This information can then be added to an error matrix. This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research, with funding from the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED. I'm going to go back to ArcMap to show you how to add these values to your random points layer. Open the attribute table for your points. Go to Table Options. Add a field. Now I'm going to name it Arial. I'm going to use the short integer field type since I will only have values of 1 through 4. Click OK. Now I'll add the new land cover value from Google Earth. I'll first select the entire row containing the FID of the point that I want to change. In this case, I will start with FID 0. Then I will right click on the Arial field header. Go to Field Calculator and type the field value. In this case, it's 3 for forest. Another way to change field values would be to open the editing toolbar and start an editing session. This is beyond the scope of this tutorial but it may be faster if you've already recorded all of your aerial photo values ahead of time. Then click OK. And then I'll repeat this for FID 1. Note that whatever row is selected is the only row that will receive the new value that I type in the field calculator. I've jumped ahead and you can see that I have all the values for each point entered from my observations in Google Earth. Before continuing to the next step, be sure that no rows are still selected by clicking on the Clear Selected Features button. Now we're going to extract the values from one of our classified rasters to compare it directly to the aerial photo values we just entered. First, open the Spatial Analyst Toolbox. Expand the Extraction Toolbox. And open the Extract Values to Points tool. Your input points are the random points. Your input raster is one of your reclassified rasters. I'm going to start with the unsupervised classification. I'll name my new output file and click OK. Now I can open the attribute table of my new point file. I can see that for each point I now have the value I observed in Google Earth as well as the value that my classified raster has given me. If you'd like to rename the raster value field, consult the written version of Tutorial 20. This table can now be used to fill in an error matrix and calculate kappa as covered in the written version of this tutorial. You can complete the same procedure that we just did for your supervised classification and then compare the two. You can use the same random points in aerial photo observations and simply repeat the extract values to points operation.